That's why we go slow down these roads. Because other cars don't. Or other vehicles. Look at him. Very, very, very good morning. Very, very good morning. Hello, you beautiful people. How the devil are you? Those that you don't know, my name's Paul, and I'm a cuddly Yorkshireman. Can't say fat. Cuddly Yorkshireman. I drive this here truck. And he joined me just as we entered Dorset. We're on our way to Gillingham. It's not Gillingham, because I got told off last night. It's Gillingham. It's the middle of nowhere. Or B roads. Anyways, it's uh, Tuesday morning. I thought I'd start a day early because we're going here. Something a bit different we haven't done before. Well, I haven't done it before. Well, we won't do it before because it's a site delivery. <laughs> um, and it is the 12th? 13th. 13th of July. And it is quarter to eight in the morning. I started at 4 o'clock this morning at uh, Hilton Park Services. I loaded this out of Secure Fence at Knowles last night. I've got 1,028 rubber temporary fencing block feet things on. <laughs> 19 and a half packs. Now, we rushed to load it last night and had a had a bit more time to do it I would have got to load it different spread it out a bit more down the trailer because I've been fighting because anybody knows what the roads are like down this way because I came down where did I come down I came through Bristol down the 37 onto the 371 uh, anybody that knows the area Shepton Mallet around that area you know it's hilly um, so I've been fighting the brakes um, I'm trying not to overheat the brakes I did pull up at a set of traffic lights and um, there's a little bit of smoke coming off the brakes, which just means they're hot. It's nothing to worry about, but it just means they were hot. So I've been trying not to use my foot brake. You can probably hear the uh, engine revs climbing and falling, because um, I've got the exhaust brake on permanently. As soon as I take my foot off the accelerator, the exhaust brake kicks in. The only thing I don't like about that is it puts the brake lights on. So the guys behind me must be like, come on, get off your brakes! Sorry, pal. I'm trying to save my brakes. <laughs> yeah, so like I say, if I'd have stretched it out a little bit, spread them out a bit more down the back, down the trailer bed, there's only two thirds of the trailer, um, there would have been um, less weight up the front and the trailer brakes would have worked harder. Um, there's no issues regarding axle weights or anything like that, so I'm nothing to worry about that way because it's not that heavy. So I'm confident that my, uh, my axle weights are okay. 
slide down for this 30. I am still using my foot brake a little bit, but not much. And obviously nowhere near as much as I would have needed to otherwise. Now we're just entering Gillingham now. We've got a right turn coming up in a one mile, we're two and a half mile away from the site. Um, we're looking for a farm, New Haven Dairy Farm. No, New Haven Dairy. Well, I don't know. Something like that. But the postcode. I had a look on uh, Google Earth last night and a postcode puts me right outside their door, so cross-reference Google to my uh, Tom Tom and Tom Tom's putting me in the same place. So that's cool, that's a funky looking building isn't it? That's an old mill or something isn't it, it's been converted. It's nice and like it. So obviously I've Big truck coming, I'll carry on. Don't move over too far, mate. You know, I'll squeeze past. I'll ride the curbs. Um, yeah, I've been away for well, the last couple of vlogs I've done have been pretty poor to be fair. And it's shown in the viewing. Um, Last week obviously I didn't post it all because it was truck show at Malvern. I have done a bit of a montage for that. <laughs> I will put that up in a bit later, a little bit later on for you. It's uh, yeah, it's quite good. I quite like it. I put that together already. Uh, only thing, um, I completely completely missed out all the uh, drone footage that I did. I took a load of well, I took a bit of drone footage some in the day, some in the night. I completely forgot it. But I'm quite pleased with how the videos turned out, so I didn't want to edit it. I put the drone footage in, so I might I might stick that in later on today, you know, in this video um, as a as an add-on. Right to these lights. So yeah, there might be a bit later on. I am going to waste the drone footage because it was quite cool. <sighs> I'm a bit tired. So it's Tuesday. Started at five o'clock yesterday. I took a load of steel to uh, out of our yard at Dalton, obviously where I'm based. Um, I took that to uh, a new build at Stoke, Stoke on Trent. Um, the site was clean enough, but they'd laid a load of uh, stone. They put about maybe a good ten inches stone as a haul road for us to drive onto. But they've only compacted it with a bulldozer, um, so it was very, very, very soft. To the point where, to the point where the guy that went on before me actually sank his truck. He sank it down to his axles, and it took quite a lot of effort to get him out. So, fortunately, I didn't get stuck. Look how people use indicators. They will be very helpful. Oh, I certainly am. Where we here? It's a tyre drag marks. So that's good. It means there's lots of trucks come down here. I'm not going to squeeze it before I was. Oh. So yeah, when I got to site yesterday, I was sat on site for three and a half hours yesterday. So I managed to get a, a three hour split rest in. So I did 14 hours last night, took a loose pipping. <sighs> took a, I did a 14 hour last night and got into uh, Hilton Park as I said earlier. I'm going now, sick of waiting. mile away now. There's a car coming and see the reflection in the window. 
That's a top tip for you new drivers. If you've got windows on the outside of a bend, a blind bend like that, just look for reflections. Look for the reflection in the window. Right? You know, use it as a mirror. I'll be a poor mirror, but you know, I saw that car was coming in a reflection. So as you get into a sticky spot. Talking about sticky spots, the A37 was shut. Uh, there was a small section of the A37 were closed, so I had to box around that on this uh, tiny little B road. Itchy nose. Um, it, to be fair, it wasn't too bad. It cost me about probably 20 minutes. When I spoke to this chap on site, I called contact last night, site contact, a chap guy by the name of Kevin. Really nice guy, actually, we had a good night. I believe, yeah, it will be. That farm straight across the field there is the farm that we need to go past. Oh, yeah, I can see all excavators over there. Cool. Um, yeah, give me some really good instructions and directions. And yeah, so we're turning left to just. Oh, it's on that bend there where that red car's gone. I don't know if you can see it. Cole Street Lane, we're going down. Down there. And it's tight. Tres tight. Just checking around the bend, make sure there's nothing coming up that way. Shy boat's clear, I'm gonna hit the bush. I said. Past the farm on our right hand side, New Haven Farm, which is going to Google Maps or Google Earth Street View, should say it there. Oh, New House, that's the one. New House Farm. Round to the left, and there's a tight right hand bend, and we just go straight on at the bend. This is it looks like you're driving into a field. <clears throat> Slight left here, then I've got a tight right. Way Could have pulled in there, just to the left. I bet she goes in that where I'm going. Fair play to her. Fair play to her, thank you very much. Where are you? Yeah, somebody, somebody gave really good instructions yesterday. I don't know who that was. Is that you? That's quite all right. That's quite all right. Um, you, you're all right there. There's nothing else coming in for a moment. You just give us a moment or two and we'll get ourselves sort of uh, That'll do me. organised and then we'll get you up. Uh, no problem. That's a damn fine cool hat, is that? Eh? That cool hat. This one, sir. Your hat. Is it dipped? It's plastic. It's white. Yeah. <laughs> right, guys. So I'll, uh, I'll leave you and leave you. For the time being, and I'll catch up with you. Uh, catch up with you in a bit. Take care. Bye for now. <sighs> Hi guys. Well, that wasn't too bad. We parked just over, just over half an hour. It's exceptionally soft here. Exceptionally soft. <sighs> Try and get turned around without sinking. At least we've not got the weight on now.
Cheers, buddy. Right then, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're all out here. Um, Spot on, lads. <clears throat> One of them said he was going to follow the channel, so if you're following, mate, and you watch this, thank you for uh, being efficient and tipping well. I said it's not the tightest of spots. Car coming down there. I'll follow him and let him run the run blocker for me. Yeah, so not bad, half an hour just over. About 35 minutes to actually tip it. Cope with that. Uh, what we're doing, let's get some air come on. Let's have an engine down a little bit. Let's get some ready. So, exhaust brake off. Um, so, yeah, now we're, uh, we're on our way back up north a little bit. We've got two minute delay right on his doorstep here, so two and a half minutes. Um, We've got 33 miles to go to reload. Well, it'll be a, a drop and swap. The trailer's loaded. Uh, we're going to Mel's at uh, going to CPM, should I say, uh, at Mel's. Mel's, if you didn't know, is a little village. Not an area, maybe. I don't know. Not quite sure. But I do know it's a pain in the butt to get to. <laughs> so that's the plan now. Get up there, drop this empty. Pick up the loaded, strap it down, and then we're going to Gloucester. I think it's Gloucester, possibly Gloucester. I think it's Gloucester. Hey! Ah, ba -ba -ba. These hedges are a bit high, you can't actually see over them. Normally, you can, normally a lot of country lanes. The hedges are quite low, so you can actually see over the top and see what's coming. So you can crack on a bit, obviously. These you can. <coughs> uh, I don't know if I touched on what we're going to talk about this week. We're going to talk rough, brief, briefly about the football. Well, not about the football, because I'm not into football, I don't like football. Um, but what I do want to talk about is the uh, aftermath of the uh, UEFA Cup Final, or Euros Cup Final, should I say. <sighs> oh, yeah, yeah, Euros, whatever. The, the final we've just had. Up, run up to it. <clears throat> Everybody's heroes. They're, they're all brilliant, fantastic. Our guys are all smashing the brilliant, the brilliant blokes. Amazing, fantastic. And then we lose the game and they're all... Um, firing racial hate at them and they're useless and how fickle and two-faced are some people I'm not saying it's all football fans, far from it, it's a minority as always at spoiling it but how fickle and two-faced are you if you're watching this please I, I, I ask you to please unsubscribe from my channel I don't want people like you on my channel um, it, it's quite disgusting the behaviour uh, on social media you know, slagging these guys off. The, you've got to bear in mind, they are young guys. You know, one of them was 19, I think the oldest one was 23. With the three uh, three black guys that were getting the race all hit. Um, uh, uh, Saka? I don't know. One of them. I, I genuinely don't know what they're called. But uh, there's no need for it. None whatsoever. Regardless of whether we, we won the game, we lost the game, whatever, it doesn't matter. There's no need, there's no place for it. Any, race, any racial abuse, whether it be... Uh, a black guy racially abusing a white guy, a white guy racially abusing a, an Asian guy, whatever, it doesn't matter. It, it's just There's just no place for it in life anymore. At the end of the day, we're all human beings. Um, we're just human beings. We just happen to be of different colours. It's like, is that car any better than the, you know, the blue car that's in front of it because it's grey? Well, no, it's a car. Well, the car might be better. But, for example, you have two identical BMWs. One's black, one's white. Which is the best? Exactly the same out there, just different colour. But it's kind of the same, isn't it? It's just it's just different colour of skin. Whoopie do. Get over it, boys and girls. <coughs> uh, this is where delay is. 
So yeah, so if you're one of the uh, idiots, and I'll call you an idiot, if you're one of the moronic idiots that have been on social media slagging these guys off, you seriously need to give your head a shake. And uh, get a life. <sighs> rant over. <laughs> Can't be a vlog without a rant, can it? Well, so I don't have something else to talk to you about, I can't remember what it was. I always have something else to talk to you about, I can never remember what it is. So I'll love you, leave you for now. Well, I don't know what it was. Driving hours. The new regulations. We'll chat about them in a bit. I'll, uh, I'll see you as we're approaching Mel. Bye for now. Feeling in my bones. I could feel it in my veins. Hands in the sky, I can feel the winds of change. You live and you learn, and I hope I've seen enough to make something right and make up for what I. Surprised by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know it should I wanna get high on you Caught by surprise by you Want you to make my heart feel As much as I know Don't show us what. Thank you, something on there. Hopefully, he'll pull forwards now. I think I'll be behind him. He is. Um, yeah, we did a trailer swap. We picked up a uh, higher trailer. Um, and it's got six concrete rings on it. Not massively heavy, but uh, heavy enough. We're against, it, we're against it a bit now because because um, apparently it's supposed to be delivered today. It's supposed to be collected yesterday and delivered today. Um, obviously, I've only just collected it. Time now is well, it's ten past eleven now, and it's not going to um, Cheltenham or Gloucester or wherever I said it was. I'm pretty damn positive I didn't say it was. Uh, it was going to Chelmsford. Well, it's going to Chelmsford, which is 168 miles away. <laughs> Three hours and 50 odd minutes driving without any delays. Um, I cleared my card. Well, you saw it on time lapse. At the start of the time lapse, I cleared my card. Uh, I've now currently got four hours and 12 minutes of drive time. Like I say, it's three hours and 52 minutes so that gives me what 20 minutes spare um, it's gonna be a hard drive it's gonna be a hard push I've just spoken to the site and they're there till five o'clock so I could I could take a 45 and 
run a 10. Because I parked up with five minutes left on my first four and a half. And you've really not parked over very well, have you? Parked in the middle of the road, man. So we're going out exactly the same way we came in. Go back down to the... Uh, I don't mind, I'm going straight on then, but I'm not on obviously. Um, <coughs> back down to the A303. Across the A303. Pick up the M3. M25, round to the A12 up the A12 to Chelmsford. That's why we go slow down these roads. Because other cars don't. Not other vehicles. Look at him. That's why you take it steady. Because it would be a big, big, big bad truck driver. It would be my fault if they hit me. So this place is just in the middle of absolutely nowhere. It's, uh, it's bonkers. <sighs> I know the first time I came in here, I'm like, nah, it's not down there. It can't be down there. Go on, love. Brand stuck out there. Can't move them now. Something to come over. Go. Yeah, it was like, nah, it can't be down there. It's just not possible. It can't possibly be down there. Oh, what it is. Sure you can appreciate it's an absolute nightmare in winter. <laughs> Anywho, right, let's see how many cars we can collect going through here because I need to move over a little bit. Get away from the arch and take it really slow. There we go, you see. See, you slowed down when you're approaching it, love. Ah, bless him. Bless him. Well, right, let's have a quick chat about these uh, new driving hours. The government's put up new driving hours, aren't they? They you know, try and combat the driver shortage. I don't understand how it's driving, combating the driver shortage. Because all it's going to do is make drivers leave the industry. Now, I can't remember full details. I will try and uh, screenshot them somewhere and put them on the screen over what I'm talking about. But, guys, I just wanted to interrupt, put this little bit in here because, well, I'm just wittering on as always. Um, if you want to read up the full um, directive that the DVSA have put out, if you go to the link in the description, it'll take you to the official page and it'll detail all the all the, uh, the changes to the driving hours on there if you can understand any of them because like half the car <laughs> but yeah it's more detailed there anyway back to me basically they're extending driving periods they're extending um, basically they're extending the working week they're extending the working days right as it stands right now we can work 15 hours a day twice a week rest of the week is a 13 hour day. I do believe they're stretching that to a 15 hour day every day of the week. A 9 hour rest every day, every night. Um, I believe I'm correct in saying that, like I say I'll put it all on the screen. Um, and also they're extending to 10 hour drives because at the moment we can do 2 a week. Normal is 9, extend to 10 but they're putting us up to a 10 hour drive and extending it to an 11 hour drive. Have you ever driven for 11 hours? Driving for 10 hours is enough and that's a cracking place to park your van. Um, 
they've extended the maximum permitted somebody rush they've extended the maximum permitted driving hours over a fortnight it's currently 90 they've now put it up to 99 <coughs> that's on a rolling fortnight and there's various other bits and pieces personally I won't be doing any of it I will stick to my normal my normal tachograph hours that I've been doing for the last X amount of years I think it's asking for trouble and like I say people are going to get fed up with it the industry drivers in the industry because our planners won't force you to do it because it is voluntary you don't have to do it uh, as a driver you don't have to do it but there will be companies out there that will push and push and push for the drivers to do these hours to do these extra hours um, and I think it will force drivers to leave the industry which is contradictory to what the government are trying to do they're trying to get more work stay there thank you they're trying to get more work out of the drivers because of the driver shortage I don't think it's going to work personally um, stick it in the comments below see what you, you know, let me know what you think um, you know I personally think if the government want to get involved with the driver shortage they should start some kind of government funded um, driver training system, driver training scheme. It shouldn't be for the unemployed though. I, I don't mean that nasty to the unemployed. They get a lot given as it is uh, for being unemployed. They get rewarded for being unemployed. How about rewarding the people that work hard for a living? If you've got a minimum wage job, it's going to be very, very hard for you to save up the amount of money you need to get you through your class one. You know, to get to where I am now, start driving one of these things. It's hard. It's going to be very difficult. You're going to have to sacrifice a heck of a lot. You know, holidays, family life, going out, etc., etc., on minimum wage job. It's just, it's going to be shockingly difficult. So I personally, if the government want to get involved, sticking a beak in, as they are trying to do with the hours, which is never going to work, like I keep saying. Um, I personally think they need to put into put into place some kind of a, a training system training scheme uh, even if it's a reduced payment you know 50% or whatever you know you put half in they put half in something I think that's more of a chance of getting the drivers that they need um, you know getting the drivers in the seats which is what we need we don't need the existing drivers doing more work doing more hours so Monday to Friday 60 you know 60 plus hours Monday to Friday is by far enough let alone the fact that we're sat in control of one of these things and if you're exhausted and tired because you're working all these extra hours there's a higher chance of accidents, higher chance of falling asleep higher chance of making mistakes it's just asking for trouble like I said, stick it in the comments, let me know what you think Learn a driver come in <sighs> It's reasonably heavy this, it's not massively heavy. There's a bit of weight there. I think I've said it before, I think I said it I may briefly touched on it earlier about driving country lanes. Keep your speed down, unless you can see. If it's open fields and you can see all the road, there's no hedges blocking your view, then crack on. Get on with it. But if you can't see, slow down. Take it easy around the bends. If the bridges are, uh, if the um, hedges are low, and you can see, yeah, if you can see down the road ahead, you know, look, look into the bends, look down the bends, and see if there's anything coming. Particularly trucks and vans, things like that, that take up a bit more room. Cars you generally get away with, but so uh, you don't want to be meeting a, a decent-sized van or. Uh, See a truck on a bend. So obviously keep an eye on the road in front, but keep an eye on you know the bends ahead, you know, across out your side window if you're coming up to a bend. Check over in the distance to see if you can see anything moving. Um, at night it's a lot easier obviously you've got headlights. You'll see the headlights coming towards you. It's not a difficult job. Driving these roads, it looks a little bit daunting, a little bit tight. 
your head about it. Ah. It's 20 degrees and this fat bloke is sweaty. Oops, sorry. It's cuddly bloke, he's sweaty. So on that lovely, delightful note, I'm going to leave you to it for a bit. Um, and I will catch up with you later on today when I'm approaching Chelmsford. Like I say, that's 3 hours 43 away. Let's get the speed down. And 164 miles to go. Oh, God, all these stupid things to contend with. Stupid idea. Right, I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye for now. Hi guys, how are we doing? Well, we were supposed to be going to Chelmsford. This ain't the way to Chelmsford. Ayo, oh, flipping neck. Um, well, I hit a bit of traffic. And um, it very quickly became apparent that I wasn't going to make it to the site. Um, to get it delivered today so I made the phone call to the planner explained the story to him because um, I was going to need a driving brake as well which I had to be there I had to be on site by 4 o'clock and uh, it, it just wasn't going to happen anyway after a break it, it just wasn't going to happen obviously I lost time I said it was going to be close driving time I lost time in the, in the traffic. Let's slow down. So um, he went off, came back. He said, "Can you take it in the morning?" I said, "Well, I can, but I'm not really happy about doing so because I started a four. I'm starting. A f I'm, I'm on early starts this week. I have been so far, so it would have meant move me for start time from four o'clock to probably six o'clock. It doesn't sound much, but it just messes with your body clock big time." Also, I'd have been parking up early tonight. Um, so I'd have had to reduce my day today, as in hour-wise, and then start it late tomorrow, which I really don't like doing. He says, well, I can't justify sending you to rugby. I says, what about putting it into Dagenham? He says, good call. Leave it with me. I'll bring you back. Anyway, he run me back into Dagenham, drop it in Dagenham, and somebody else is going to pick it up and take it in the morning. Thank you very much, Mr. Patrick. So that's what we're doing. We're on the M11, heading in towards London. And we're going to uh, get to Beckton, hang a left onto the A13, and go to um, Eddie Stobart's yard at Dagenham. We've got, well, it's actually a our high ab base. They're based there. So I'm going to park there for the night, drop this trailer, take all my straps and gubbins off it. And that ping then, I don't know if you heard it. Ping was to tell me I've got uh, 15 minutes left on my 9 hour drive. So I am going to go into a 10 hour drive tonight, which is annoying. Yeah, I'll be about 15, 10 15 minutes into a, into a 10 hour. Um, so yeah, I'll take my straps, ratchets, and uh, all my corner protection off. Because um, obviously I might need it myself. It's only uh, 7 straps, so it's an easy load. Easy load to do. Quick cut on corner protection, I don't know if I've ever mentioned it before. You can buy all these plastic corners and all this good stuff. And personally, I've done it for years. Get yourself down to your local carpet shop and ask them for some off cuts of their of any carpet, don't matter what colour, unless you fancy a certain colour. But um, as long as it's the Hessian backed carpet and not the foam backed. It's got to be the Hessian kind of back carpet. And chop it into like 10 inch squares or 10 inch by 5 inch. Yeah, that'll do it. 10 inch by 5 inch pieces. And then you can use that as edge protection. It's brilliant. It moulds to the shape of whatever it is. You put it on these are these are round pipes. If you put a corner protector on it, the corner protector, when the strap starts to tighten up, it'll actually crack all the corner protector and it'll be knackered, you'll have to throw it away. Whereas the carpet just conforms to the shape. Uh, it's brilliant. So yeah, off cuts of carpet. Top tip. <laughs> Useful. Right, so I'm going to float off now. I've got 22 minutes of drive time left, 11 miles to go. Um, so while I'm doing this bit, head off and watch that uh, 
Truck Fest Malvern montage that I put together. I'm going to keep hold of the uh, top quality driving there, that white, uh, white BMW, top quality. I'm going to keep hold of the um, drone footage and I will use it in another video somewhere. Um, so yeah, enjoy that and I'll come back to you when I'm de-strapping and taking all that good stuff off down there. Enjoy, see you soon. Bye guys. Hello you beautiful people out there, Devil here. We're at uh, Truck Fest, Malvern. We're just heading up to see uh, uh, what we're going to see. Does it a trucker? Um, he's about to do um, one of his truck vlogger shows, uh, but he's doing it live from Malvern. I've been invited to go on, so we're heading up there now. Oh, we'll flip you around, we'll have a walk, and I'll take you on hyperlapse. And uh, yeah, you can see the stroll. See you in a bit. Hi guys, how are we doing? Uh, well, it's um, Wednesday morning now, um, and uh, I left you Malvern, I think. I think you watched, just watched Truck Fest, if I remember correctly, and I edited it correctly. I think that's what's just happened. <laughs> um, I dropped that loaded trailer into Dagenham last night, picked up an empty, and I left. Uh, I left the yard, pulled out, and I got parked up at Waltham Abbey uh, truck stop, junction 26, M25. Uh, I got parked up there on a 14 hour day and a 9 hour, 9 hour, a 9 hour, a 9 hour and 50 minutes drive. Um, expensive to park there, fortunately for us it's on snap. And uh, cracking food though, the food's lovely. I had lasagna and chips and salad. Very, very enjoyable indeed. Um, so I got up at 4 o'clock this morning, time now is quarter past 10. And I ran from Waltham Abbey up to our yard at Rugby, dropped the loaded trailer onto the wash bay, hand washed the truck, which is a little bit prettier. 
back up a little bit while I was just after I got parked up last night I was just checking re watching something on YouTube and I didn't catch the company name and I certainly didn't catch his name but another driver pulled up at the side of me on his way into there um, said hello Paul you're not doing any polishing I'm like don't know you but you must know me um, no I wasn't going to polish not in there the truck was filthy anyway um, but it's really dusty in there so I wouldn't have done it but um, this is the videos are great so thank you if you're watching pal let me know in the description I appreciate the continued support I'm in the wrong lane let's get across there before we hit that white line oh, I'll just bust it my ear. Um, oh, it's no worse than that one it's just gone down and done that Anyway, I'm coming off here anyway. I don't understand it myself, but that's what you're supposed to do. Um, yeah, so yeah, thank you, mate. If you're uh, if you're watching this one, let me know who you are. Um, so yeah, up to rugby, hand wash the truck because the wash lad wasn't in, so I couldn't use the jet wash. So it's just a hose pipe, brush, and sponge. Just as I'm about to leave, he came in, so I got him to throw some uh, Auto Smart Aqua Seal. Which is a, a spray wax. So uh, just gives it a nice shine. It's good, good stuff. So I've got a, a loaded trailer behind me now with four of the uh, the balc balconies, pre-built balconies on, and uh, we're going to parking. Obviously, I've just come off the M11. I'm now on a 406, a 406 North Circular. Eight and a half minutes to go. So I think that's going to be it for this week. I think that's all we're going to do for now. And um, what we'll have for you next week. Next week we'll have the Orkminster visit that we did on Saturday, the wife and kids. Um, I didn't particularly record anything, it was just a case of taking a crap load of photos, my wife, myself and our lad uh, between us we, we took something like about 160 180 photos so there should be a decent quality photo montage a little bit of video work stuff like that so it should be interesting for you to watch if you've never been to york before you've never been to the minster um, i'm a local lad to york and I, that's the first time i've ever been in and i was blown away by the place our, uh, our daughter was with us 13 she was bored <laughs> Most interesting thing for Paige was the toilets. She was desperate for loot. <laughs> anyway, so that'll be next week. Um, I'll also put in the, uh, the little bit of drone footage from Malvin. And uh, yeah, we'll get up to somewhere else, I'm sure. So uh, for now, ladies and gents, boys, girls, all those that are confused, thanks for riding along with me. I really appreciate every one of you. Make sure you subscribe if you've not. Uh, I think I'm going to change lanes, but I'm going to fit 500 chasing inside of it. There he goes. Um, well, I'm just going to shut him out down because he was about to do the same. <laughs> if you're not already subscribed please make sure you, make sure you do so. You obviously thought you'd like something about this video because you're still here now. I don't even know if I need to be off at this one. Don't know. Don't think I do. Don't know. So I'll catch you in next week's video. Check out all the links that's in the description for all sorts. WS merch merchandise. Merchandise for me, for my shop, for my uh, channel. There's a bit of a merchandise shop going. Check it out, have a look, let me know what you think. Um, there's the buy me a coffee, there's the Amazon wishlist. For those that you bought off Amazon wishlist, thank you so much guys. We really, really appreciate that. Can't thank you enough. Um, and there's all sorts of other lists, uh, links on there. So for now, I'll catch up with you next week. Thanks for riding along, guys. Speak to you soon. Bye for now. If I change,